Tony Tokumbo, Fernandez. You know we get the Good afternoon once again it's tony tukumba fernandez here of africa for you in collaboration with zimlink and as promised it's 2014 and we're back with a bang speaking to prominent role models making a difference within our community and today we're speaking to another young role model making that big difference her name is lindani and she'll be telling us more about her projects and initiatives welcome to africa for you how are you today I'm fine, thank you. Thank you, Tony. Um, my name is Lindani Moyo Masugu. I'm the founder of Black African Women Rock. Um, Black African Women Rock was funded in April the 18th. Um, the whole idea behind uh, Black African Women Rock is to empower and motivate women to pursue with their dreams, regardless of, of their situations and their circumstances. Because uh, as, as, a, as a black woman, I find that we, we come across a lot of challenges and being in the diaspora. But I'm saying that shouldn't stop you from pursuing your dreams. Because as women, we just don't belong in the kitchen. Hence, by saying that, um, I'm not saying do not cook for your family, don't cook for your husband, don't cook for your children. But I'm saying there is more to life than just being at home or being a stay-at-home wife and just being in the kitchen. There is so much out there as women uh, socializing and networking. So it can be either baking or cooking. You can turn that into a business. So that is the whole initiative behind um, Black African Women Rock. So it's really generally just empowering women to, to pursue with their dreams. Tell me, what's the response been like so far from the general populace? Uh, the response has been really great because I've also had quite a lot of people from Africa who are so excited and they're asking me, when are you going to be launching this in Africa? But at the moment, because um, I only funded uh, Black African Women Rock uh, in April, so I'm still planting my seeds here and getting the, the proper foundation within the, within the UK. But I'm hoping at least by 2015, should be able to start something in Africa. So I've really had quite a good response within our African community. Now, I understand there's a big major launch coming up in a few months' time. And I'm sure our listeners around the world will want to know more about this launch. Um, yeah, I'm going to be doing, marking the first anniversary of Black African Women Rock. That is going to be on the 3rd of May. This is going to be at the Antoinette Hotel that's in Kingston. Um, yeah, and it's going to be starting at 7 o'clock. And the tickets are going to be selling for £30. Pounds which includes a meal and a reception drink. What kind of people expect on that day? Um, it's going to be mixed, really. Uh, it's going to be quite a lot of the business women that I've managed to, to network with because the last 10 months now, because it's about 10 months since BAWR was founded, of which I've managed to, to network with over 900 uh, entrepreneurs, uh, not just within the UK, but outside the UK as well. So we're going to have quite a lot of people who are starting our businesses, people who are looking at starting businesses to come and share ideas and, and women who've really done well within our community who are going to be there to come and empower and share their business ideas with the upcoming. Now it's 2014. What other projects have you got lined up for the rest of the year? Um, I'm going to be launching as well the first uh, Black African Women Rock Awards, which is going to be on the 6th of December. Uh, I haven't arranged the, the venue at the moment because I'm still focusing on the, on the first anniversary of, of BAWR because I thought it would be really quite interesting to, to celebrate women achievement. So this is why I thought having Black African Women Rock Awards that would be something interesting to mark up the, the end of the year by celebrating women, what they've done within our community, women achievements. So, yeah, we're going to be having the Black African Women Rock Awards. Now, on a final note, what message do you have for black women around the world today? Um, the message I'm saying to, to our black African women is that Never give up, no matter how much you are challenged, no matter how, what you are going through. Work on your own pace and 
Don't feel pressured if it's going to take you two years to build your foundation. Just, just let it be, but just never give up. Just keep pushing on, keep pressing on, get advice, network with other people, surround yourself with, with, with positive people, people that uplift you, people that empower you and motivate you. So that is really my main message to, to, to the women out there and to support each other really because I think sometimes as women we pull each other down so it would be really nice for women to, to come together and support each other because there's a lot of women coming up, book writers, we've got quite a lot of entrepreneurs actually within the African community now that are coming up. So let's support each other and empower each other and uplift each other as women. Because we are educated, we are clever, we are smart, we multitask. We've got all the qualities, really, so we need to embrace that and nature it. Keep me posted of all the great work you're doing in the community, and I'll catch up with you soon. Thank you, Tony. Join me same time next week on Africa for You. The exchange of information and knowledge through film and media. Zimling, baby.